thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really excited to have my special guest, Haley Jansen, with us today. Um, Haley is a content coach, and she has a mission to help you implement magnetic, confident, and fun marketing strategies so you can bank on every post. And Haley will talk about a little bit more what that means in a second. But Haley, thank you so much for the time today. I'm really excited for this. Yeah, no, thank you for reaching out. This is super awesome. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, I mean, it's a little nerve wracking sometimes when I have like content creators or people who are good at social media on my podcast, because I'm like, oh my gosh, they're going to look at my posts and they're going to like, they're going to know I'm doing everything wrong. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, no, I would never think that. I think that as long as you're putting out content, you're good. So yeah, this is well, content. Yeah, yeah, well, that's the first tidbit right there. I know getting into social media is so scary, but just putting something out is like better than nothing and worrying about if it's perfect or not is like step behind yeah absolutely yeah Yeah. well I would love for you to share just a little bit about your story and how you kind of fell in to doing content creation oh my gosh I'm laughing I'm holding back my laugh because I tell people that I've been creating content since birth that is the truth like when I came into this world my mom started documenting everything and this is before social media before like smartphones she just had like her probably not even a digital camera at that point, like disposable camera, taking photos of everything. And she has boxes and boxes and boxes from my life. And I'm grateful that she did that, but she really loves scrapbooking. That's what I grew up doing. And so I literally was just like trained to create content because you got your photos and you got your descriptions, your captions. And so super easy. That's how I got into it. And then the rest is really history. I mean, I could talk about that more, but I am a content coach and strategist. I really love helping business owners create more content online, not even better, just more and high quality and impactful. And just, yeah, there's so many things I could talk about when it comes to content and how it's changed my life, but, or how it's even just been my whole life. But yeah, that's how I I got started and a little bit about what I do. Wow, that's really cool. I I absolutely love that. My dad was like pretty similar. Like he still, he has this entire YouTube channel that's like blank of like followers and views and stuff, except for literally my family. And it's like a good like 200 videos of just random like Christmas and just us having fun. So that's so cool to look back at those times. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, now people just have a digital scrapbook instead of a physical (laughs) scrapbook. So Yeah. yeah. That's so cool. So I would um just like, I know there's so much to content and I know it can be really, really overwhelming to look at if you're a new business owner or even if you're, you know, seasoned in the business, but reaching out onto social media can be pretty daunting to look at. Is there like any, like the quickest and easiest way that someone could just dip their toes in? Maybe like, oh, if you put out just kind of like a questions post, or if you kind of make like a logo, like what do you think if you know nothing about creation and you just want content creation and you just wanted to put one post out there, what would you kind of recommend that be? Yeah, no, I feel like Facebook was the initial like inviting people to say what's on their minds kind of mm-hmm. thing. And I think that still comes into to play. It's just different. Like every generation we, I mean, for let's say Gen X, like they grew up doing like MySpace and Facebook. And so they would have just like been able to put out some text, maybe some images. Uh, and now like millennials to Gen X, it's like, or Gen Z, I mean, there's Instagram and TikTok, which is more video. So basically, as long as you can document your life, like just live and do what you love doing. If you love painting, paint. If you love piano, play piano. If you love math, do math. If you, Like whatever it is that you love, just like pursue those things with all your might and document. That's literally for me. I'm like, even if you document for three seconds to five seconds of you brushing your teeth because you love brushing your teeth like let's say there's like a group of people on the internet that are obsessed with brushing their teeth you will reach those people because you documented it for a few seconds and you put it on the internet like that's basically in my mind all you need to start doing is just thinking of things like a little bit differently instead of taking a photo take a video and put it online and write what you're feeling in that moment about it there doesn't have to be this crazy strategy when you're starting out that's kind of my thing and I know we'll talk about a little bit later some strat- like strategies that we can you know start today implement today to post maybe more consistently and start showing up online but that's that's where I would start and 
I guess the last thing I'd say on that is the reason why we're even showing up online is because when you you're living your life, but it's not real until you put it online. Like if you want people to see it and you want to grow an audience and you want to reach more people, it makes it tangible. It makes it real. It makes it, um, especially for business. Like if you have an in-person business, it's real for the people, you know, around you, but if you want it to reach global, then it has to be online so that it really is real beyond just in person and just like to that small community around you, which is incredible. And there's never been a better time to start sharing what you love and finding community globally. Yeah, I love that so much because I've kind of grown up in this social media age where like when I was young, it was still pretty new. So I knew of it and I've seen the way that it's transformed within like the past what has it been like at least 20 years of some type of social media because I think Facebook was like 2004 or something but yeah I think that the way that it's evolved is people just randomly posting this ever on their minds and then we went into more like sophisticated videos and very high def mm. and I feel yeah. like now people just want something real like they just want yeah. to see you kind of just talk about something that you're passionate about like even speaking for myself like I have a Facebook and I didn't have it before I started getting into business because I'm younger and we don't usually have Facebook and I was like yeah. I can't get like any likes like I have friends but no one's liking my stuff but recently mm. I've been posting like I love cooking and I've just been posting that just because I thought it was fun my likes literally went from like maybe a max of 10 likes to like 150 likes which I was like I don't know how this happened but if you wow. guys are here that's fine so I feel like that's a really yeah. good testament that people just want to see you be you yeah, they want to see the real stuff and they want to know and get to like you and trust you. And that's really the easiest way to do that is through video and is mm -hmm. through seeing like what you're doing. And so that's really powerful. I love that you shared a really tangible way for people to do that right now. Like if they're yeah. like, I'm on Facebook, I'm getting 10 likes and I want more. It's like, well, maybe pick your favorite hobby or the thing that brings you the most peace in your life. Go do that, document it and put it on Facebook. See what happens. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's so cool. So if you were to kind of look back at you know, your journey and getting into content creation as like helping other people as a coach, or maybe just like your life in general, is there anything that you'd say to kind of your younger self looking back, or maybe just kind of the younger generation moving forward? Yeah, I have like so much to say, because I feel like it's so funny when I was that age, I would have, I just absorb like a sponge when mentors or like people in my life would say things to me like this like it felt like not everyone was willing to share like their knowledge and like what they've gained so I love that you're doing this podcast but like at the age of like if I'm thinking back to like I'm ending high school I'm like about to start my career I just not to lose that like glitter in her your eye like I'm thinking of if I'm t talking to my younger self, like the glitter in her eye, just wanting to do everything and anything. Like I had this heart for de design and I wanted to do like interior design, web design, graphic design, like any design you think the fashion design you can think of. I literally did it all at the, like in my high school time. And I was so scared to pick one thing that was like the hardest thing for me. And so what I would say to that, like having to pick one thing is just start somewhere because you have so many years ahead of you and to say like oh my gosh I have to pick one thing and put that pressure on yourself a lot of people have like 14 different jobs minimum in their lifetime and so for me I really went like I started with digital communication I went to college for a year and I didn't have to spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars on a business degree or a digital marketing degree or whatever it is. Like I got to start just doing like get one certificate, pay like 10% of the price <laughs> and go into an internship right away. That's like my biggest tip is if you can do the work right away, instead of just learning about it, it can be scary. Like I think there were some times where I was like, this is the scariest thing I've ever done, but because I found someone who believed in me. I was able to like go from being, you know, a, a year after college, really going straight into digital marketing. It started more like virtual assisting. Like I'm sure like a lot of people get, get into the online space. They're like, oh, I'll just start with being a VA. And so I kind of started that way. But instantly because of my college certificate, they were comfortable making me their digital marketer. And I learned everything on the job, but it was 
where I thrived and I grew and I'm so glad I didn't stay in school for five years like that if I would could go back like I'd say like yes do not spend thousands I wanted to do fashion design school and it was like a hundred thousand dollars to do this private like fashion design school and I'm like thank god my parents did not let me do that they're like no you're not getting into that much student debt and so I'm just grateful for that because it it made my career happen faster and I actually get to work and do things that I'm passionate about at the eight like I'm 26 and I'm already like doing have my own business doing what I love growing it and I get to be multi-passionate in that job like in my quote-unquote nine to five it's not a nine to five it could be a 24 7 job but like it doesn't really matter because I love what I'm doing and so that's what I would say is if you can just focus on what you actually love like what lights you up what has you feel like for me I feel like this buzz of like I get to do this like just focus on those things and the rest will be history you'll be like looking back like I'm so glad that I didn't do what society told me to do. I listened to what I wanted to do and I pursued that. So, yeah, yeah. that is yeah. so cool. And that's awesome that you're only, that you only like had to go for the one year. I know people sometimes don't even yeah. want to go anymore, which is totally cool too. Cause yeah. it's really the importance of learning there on the job because I mean, at the end of the day, the, the college education is really nice, but also if you have like five years now under your belt of working on the job, they're going to be like, Oh, yeah. She yeah. doesn't just know, like she can yeah. do it and she has. You do, yeah, you do have to do whatever it takes to get in the door. Like for yeah. me, I wanted to work and I was able to do the internship because I went to college and they, that was mm-hmm. just part of it. And yeah. so I know some people wouldn't do that at all, but if you're like, I want to do something, you just have to look at what is required to do that thing and do it. Don't just go to school because someone told yeah. you you had to. That's kind of the, the end of the story. <laughs> I think that's a great yeah. way because it's so easy to be like, oh, well, I'll just take the time. And yeah. people are just telling me to do it. So it makes sense. But I know my heart is somewhere else. That's the real. If you yeah. know your heart is somewhere else and you think it's worth it to pursue it, you should it take you Absolutely. that time. You're going to take the time yeah. somewhere else anyway. <laughs> yeah. And as long as you're like staying on your own path and you're not comparing yourself to anyone else, like, oh, my sister or my brother, they're doing that. And I should be doing that. Cause as soon as you compare yourself, this would be like my final. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if it, I don't know how long I could talk to my younger self forever, but I would really say like comparison kills com- like your confidence and it also kills your creativity. Uh, and so just learning how to avoid comparison, whatever that looks like for you, if it's unfollowing someone, if it's like ending a friendship on a, like, not a dramatic note, but just whatever it is that is causing you to compare yourself, you will find that you won't be as creative or as confident and you won't get as far. And so just cutting that off now, it's like a bad virus, like just get cut it off now um, and you'll be good. You'll be golden. (laughs) Yeah, no, that is really great. It's so hard sometimes on social media like it's so easy to compare yourself and it's so hard to get out of that once you start um but like you said you can it's social media at this point we all can follow each other it's okay yeah yeah <laughs> we'll all live we'll all live yeah um but Haley thank you so much for the time today this has been just an absolute blast and yeah. so much of what you have said is just so powerful and I know that is speaking to so many people so I would love to know is uh what's the best way someone could reach out if they'd like to learn a little bit more on content creation learn more about you where can where can they find you yeah absolutely I'm on Instagram TikTok Facebook Haley Jansen is the easiest way that's H-A-Y-L-E-Y and then J-A-N-Z-E-N for how to spell my name but uh and I yeah if you look up content coaching there's not a lot of us out there yet. So it's really? probably an easy way to find me. Yeah, I feel like it's mostly business coaching and business coaches talk uh, about content, but there's to actually like niche down even further just into content alone and not, again, I'm not a social media manager. I'm not mm-hmm. a, like, I have done business coaching, but I love coaching and helping people build a strategy strategy around their, their content mm-hmm. specifically, just getting just even more yeah niche. But yeah, and then of course they, if they want to get started and they want to create more content, they want to document, I definitely recommend downloading my content wheel or content ideas wheel. Cause it's, it is just full. I think there's 70 plus content ideas for them to start off with. That's good for, if they wanted to post daily for two months. Like it's crazy. So uh, yeah. yeah, that would be what I'd recommend. 
Perfect. And I'll leave the link to Haley's uh, content wheel um, in the description. So please do make sure that you check it out. Definitely worth your time. And it's definitely worth it to just start posting. Just get out of your comfort zone, post a little here and there, and you'll definitely reap what you sow in the future. So yeah. Haley, thank you so much for your time today. This has been just an absolute pleasure. And I really appreciate yeah. the time. On just like a final note, because it, it, I it's been on my heart and I forgot to say it throughout the whole thing was yeah. that like, I wish I started posting sooner. Like mm -hmm. that was the biggest thing. And so if they can take this content wheel and start posting, like I did post a lot of YouTube videos. Like I started growing a following, but then I'd second guess myself and stop for like years. And so if they can just like keep going and not, not do that, like if they need to archive a video, archive a video, if they need to take something down, like just don't, don't stop, like don't give up. And so that would be, sorry, the last thing. Cause I, if they're downloading the content wheel, it's to keep them consistent and yeah. just not, not look back, not yeah. stop. Oh yeah. That is, that's really great. Cause it's so easy with like the massive amount of numbers. Some people yeah. can pull and you're like, Oh, but I'm only getting like 50 views. I must yeah. be doing something completely wrong. I should not do this again. It's like, no, that's yeah. not really the, the algorithm plays a big role. And sometimes you have to play a lot of games to get the algorithm on your side. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it doesn't mean that your content is bad or you are bad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just keep going. Cause I wish I had I'm like, I don't even know where, because it it's a compound effect. I wouldn't even know where it would be right now if I didn't yeah. stop. Like I switched and pivoted so many times, but just, just stay true to you and your name and keep it and grow it and do whatever you want with it. And don't let anyone tell you otherwise. <laughs> oh, that is a really great way. Boom. <laughs> great way to close out the podcast. So yeah. thank you so yeah. much, Haley. That welcome. was awesome. I'll see you guys. Yeah, thank you.